Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Tigay. Let's jump right into it. The market is recovering off of the lows this morning. We were lower overnight with higher oil prices. We were uh, low, even lower still after weak housing data. And that's really the first economic data point in a while that's come in saying maybe this economic uh, uh, story in the U.S. is wavering. And we have been expecting it to do so for some time because of the high inflation. Uh, we're expecting that to to at some point filter out to the consumer and start to hit the economy. Now we haven't seen that yet, but uh, there's of course there's been lots of COVID money out there in the system prior to prior to now. At some point that's going to run out with higher prices for everything. Of course, the gas prices are the latest thing. We got you know higher. Uh, higher home prices, higher food prices, you name it. Uh, and now interest rates are coming up. Uh, it should be slowing the economy down. And we'll start to see if that filters out into equities as it plays out. Now, as, as uh, we go forward, what a difference a week makes in the markets. Now, last week I was saying, if the S&P 500 were to be able to get above its 50-day moving average, we might see a big drop in volatility. Of course, that happened. And now, now we're sitting above the 200-day moving average. That's at 44.74 in the S&P 500. And we found support there today significantly uh, for the markets. Now, if we are able to find support there, if we do drop below that, I think we might see a return to volatility quicker than you would otherwise expect. Remember, uh, during the invasion of Ukraine from Russia, we did not get a higher VIX than we did in January. Uh, we were still below that 38.94 was the high for the year. Uh, and sometimes with these sellers, we see an even higher VIX. And for me, I think people were ahead of that invasion. They had some protection on, lots of puts being bought. Uh, when the market went lower, they decided to sell vol, take some profits. That was something keeping the VIX down. Now in the past week, all that vol has come out. People have sold all their protection. If we were to have another leg lower, I think the VIX will rise quickly. That said, we got right now we got the uh, VIX at 23. The April future is now the front month. That's at 25. Yeah, me, a medium to significant size uh, gap there between where the, the front month future is and the VIX is. And we're starting to see a little bit of slope, a little steepness in the futures curve uh, as you go out, uh, which is something we haven't seen sometimes. So uh, uh, market makers, volatility traders, futures traders are expecting a return to volatility in the short term. For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Teague.